Alright, in this video I want to talk about notification badges a little bit more. I do have a component that is working for the most part. Uh, some of the actual Google apps are a little bit weird with the notification badges. I'm sure there's some workarounds and uh, I'll look into it some more, but I want to go ahead and share this with you all. I have had several requests for notification badges. So here it is. It's this guy right here. It is a component. Notification badges comp. You can find that in my free components folder. And then the for loop notifications, that is actually all of this text here. If I just come in here and delete that, you know, that's just text. That's just there for a guide to pretty much get the package name for whatever app that I want to get notification badges for. Now inside of this notification badges comp, and I have it set to zoom in so you can actually see the component itself. If we head over to globals, you have a couple of things that you can change here. The image, that's going to be this Gmail image that you have right here. You can pick whatever image you want. The package name, that's the package of the app that you want to get notifications for. I'm going to come in here in a minute and add another one so that we can see the notification badge. For every app that you want a notification for, use this component for each individual app. More on that right here in a second. Now for this which list global, that's just going to be this actual image here. It's a little sticky note, this white sticky note. We can change that to a shape if we want. You can change the color of that shape if you'd like. Coming on down, the text for this notification badge. How many notifications do we have for Gmail? Right now I have three. Again, the Google apps are a little bit weird. I'm going to talk about that right here in a second. But I can change the color of that text. We can change the font. The badge itself, now since I have this set to shape, we have this circle, but if I go back to image, that image right there, you can change that image right here inside of the global. Adjusting the size of that image or the shape. Coming on down, the icon itself, we can make this bigger as well. And notice our notification badge stays in the top right hand corner. You can adjust that inside of the component. Let's make the font, that three, a little bit bigger. And then coming on down, we have some codes. You don't need to change those. And then I'll talk about this block right here in a second. But let's come on back into the items and let's come and add another notification badge component. We're going to change this one. And to do that, you'll re-add a new component. I'm bringing in another notifications badge component. And I know up here in my notifications that I have some calendar notifications. So I'm going to come into that one, go over to globals, I'm going to change my package name. And the package name for the Google Calendar app is com.google.android.calendar. Checking on that, I do see that we have a different number here. Let's go ahead and change the icon image. Now I use the app Iconzy. This works very well with KOWP. Just going to search for calendar and I'm going to pick a random calendar image from Iconzy. So our icon has changed. We can switch this over to that image if we want for our notification badge. I'm going to make the badge bigger, make the icon bigger, and make my text bigger. Probably a good idea to change the color of that text as well. I'm going to cut my zoom off, go back to my items, and I'm not going to change anything in the component itself for right now. I'm going to go back to root and we have these two now. We have the Gmail as well as this calendar. Probably a good idea to add these to a stack group. I'm going to cut and paste these inside of that stack group. Vertical or horizontal will be just fine, and a little bit of gap in between them. So let me save this up, head back to the home screen, and now that we have our two notification badges, we can tap on these, and what it will do is it will open up the notification for that particular app. For example, if I touch on the calendar, I have Taekwondo with my son tomorrow morning, so it's opening that up. I'm going to close out of that. Now for the Google Calendar app, if I come down on my notifications, I see that I have two additional notifications here, pre-emergent and food LG. Let me just swipe one of these away. So I swiped away the pre-emergent. Going back to the home screen, now this says one. Let me tap on that again. Now we see the food LG. That's the one we just saw in my notification shade. Exit out of that. 
now we cannot tap on this anymore. That's what this block color is. I'm trying to tap on it and nothing's happening. Now, obviously what we want to do here is to go back into that notification badge, this one here, go over to its globals, and we're gonna set this color to transparent. But basically it's just there to show you that this is block. We cannot touch on that anymore. Saving that up and heading to the home screen. So when we do not have a notification, it will go away and this touch is blocked. Now I did say some of the Google apps act weird. We may not have a notification in our notification shade, but yet uh, it may show a number up here. Let me open up my Gmail. Now it is opening up the notification for that particular app, Gmail. Let me exit out of here. It says I have three left. And if I go to my Gmail apps, I do see three emails here. One, two, three. Let's swipe two of them away. Heading back to the home screen. Now it says one. I'm gonna come down on my notification shade and open up that particular notification for Gmail. Let's exit out. And now we can see we have the block on it. Now this does act a little bit weird for the Google Apps. I've said this several times already, but uh, sometimes it works great, sometimes it doesn't. But all of the other apps that I've been using this for, YouTube notifications, Samsung Health, I keep track of my steps and all that good stuff each day, and several other apps, I do keep track of my notification badges. This component does a pretty good job of keeping track of the number of notifications that you have for those apps. But there you have it, a notification badge comp. Import this component for each app that you want a notification badge for. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.